Okay. And seven seconds, Mr. White. Five seconds. And Mr. White, you're good to go. All right, thank you. All right, um, make a motion to accept the agenda for Situate Board of Health, Monday, July 26, 2021, 6 a.m. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So um, let me just start. The first one is, in case it's the caller, discuss and vote 15 Manlot Road homeowner Andrew Cousaud requesting a variance of Citroën private well regulations. Is Andrew on? If you're on mute, just have to hit the mute. If the okay. caller is your individual, I meaning Andrew, um, I have asked him or her to unmute okay. and they have not. Okay. So I'll leave on that one. The second one is discuss and vote 13 Greenfield Lane homeowner Peter McGeckerin requesting a variance of situate private well regulations. Is Peter McGeckerin on? Okay. So. <laughs> uh, discuss and vote design hearings for 30 Concord Street, Morse Engineering representing homeowner request of insulation of septic system requiring local upgrades and variances. And James, you're from Morse, right? <laughs> That's correct. Uh, for the record, right. James Garfield, I'm an engineer at Morse Engineering. Um, let me pull up the share screen here so I can get the plan on for you guys. Oh, maybe we can't do that. Um, well, James, I'm sorry. I apologize, James. You should be able to now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Can everybody see this? Yes. All right. Um, so again, James Garfield with Morse Engineering. Um, I'm here tonight representing the applicant for the septic system repair at 30 Concord Street located in Hummerow. Um, to familiarize yourself with our plan, our property lines are shown here in bold. Uh, Concord Street's down at the bottom of the page. Uh, this is a 7,500 square foot lot. The existing three bedroom single family dwelling takes up a, a large portion of said lot. Um, the existing site is located in Hummerock, um, serviced by a failing Title V steps pool, which ex exits out the rear of the building. Um, and what we're proposing is a new 1500 gallon septic tank, which will flow by gravity into a crushed stone leaching field. And uh, just due to site constraints and dimensional um, constraints along with those, we're asking for local upgrades um, listed as follows to allow a reduction from 10 feet to five feet between the leaching field and property lines. Uh, to allow a reduction from 10 feet to two and a half feet between the leaching field and the crawl space, and to allow a reduction of 10.3% uh, in the size of the SAS. And again, this is uh, just one of those Hummerock sites where we're kind of making do with what's out there. Um, this new septic system will be a great upgrade for the site and um, should be noted that Conservation Commission already approved this plan. So with that, I will leave it to you for any questions. Okay. Um, first of all, um, Joan, was there anything on this or Drew? We, we did have a neighbor come in who was concerned or at, was more, why couldn't it go in the rear of the property was his question, James. So maybe yeah. you could just address that. I mean, he's not, I don't believe that's him on the meeting. Uh, he, he, he was, he was just curious and concerned because he, he is what he is the abutter. Yep. So I, um, I have heard his concerns. I know he called our office last week. Um, oh, good. You did speak with him. Yeah. I didn't good. speak with him specifically, but our office did. And, um, essentially, essentially the gist of it is that, um, you know, this is a site in Hummerock where, um, the actual trees exist in the rear yard and the, the hope was not to have to take any of those out and, even beyond that, there's an existing shed back there that would have to be removed. And um, so, you know, we're, we're proposing the new system in the side yard, which is going to be underneath um, the existing area where they park. 
So, you know, the system's going to be three feet in the ground. Um, it's beach sand, it's, it's Hummer Rock. Um, I, I don't think we're going to have any drain issues with this septic. So um, that's kind of our thought process behind that. And my other question, all these, star the, these stars are, are trees, right? In the rear yard, yeah. yeah. The rear, right, these, these just so people know what we're looking at. Okay. Yeah, correct. Okay. And again, um, it, it it's it's Hummer Rock. It's it's an existing location. It's not a, a site where a brand new house is going up where there's never been one. So right. Um, anything else? Did, I mean, Joan on the call. I yeah. Not sure. did Joan. Is there anything else? Yeah, we, we didn't have any other issues with it. Okay. All right. Um, Karen, do you have the? Um, yep. I can make a motion. Yeah. yeah. So I'll make a motion okay. to um, approve the septic repair plan with the following upgrades requested um, to approve a reduction from the required 10 feet to five feet between the system and the property line uh, to approve a reduction from the required 10 feet to 2.5 feet between the system and the crawl space and to uh, approve the reduction of 10.3% in the size of the system overall. Um, and this is pending, well, so we said so pending conservation commission approval, but you said that's already been approved. So if that's the case, we can waive that. And then yes. it engineers satisfactory revisions to the plan um, to, to address the board of health administrator review comments. Okay, so um, second, uh, I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So I think that's all set, James, thanks. Great, thank you everyone. Okay, so I'm not sure if, um, let me go back to pull up my agenda. Has uh, Andrew come on from representing 15 Manlot Road? There have been no new individuals enter this meeting. Okay, and Peter, so what, um, Drew or Joan, so we would just add these back to on the agenda. These would just go back on the agenda for our next meeting, and you can move on to uh, director's report. Want you, you want to do the old business Drew, first? Drew, do they have to vote to continue it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because we do have discussed yeah, votes. We, yeah. so, um, Karen, if you want to just make a motion to continue 15 Manlot Road, requesting a variance for situ with private well regulation, and then Kelly can second it and. They can do a, a vote for each one to just continue them to the next meeting. Okay, so I'll move to continue the um, discussion around the wealth of 15 Manlot Road. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then do the same for 13 Greenfield. So I'll make a motion to uh, continue the agenda item for the well for 13 Greenfield to the next meeting. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So um, do you want to do director's report, Drew, or? Do I'm going to do the director's report? Okay. Sure. So right now we have um, 16 plans under 45-day plan review, 13 awaiting CONCOM comments, 18, I mean, eight waiting for engineer revisions. And then we have 17 as built that we're waiting for various signatures or, or different items on. And we have 26 systems in failure. Um, it, it's great that we see, you know, 30 Clonkin Street coming up because that's a system in failure and we get it off. And, and again, these numbers rotate every single, uh, every day actually. So I'd like to just talk a little bit about COVID and we're so lucky now that we have Karen and Kelly who are both nurses. So if I get any of this information wrong, please do not hesitate to correct me on it because it's valuable information. So, you know, everyone's talking about the Delta variant and the Delta variant is very, very serious. And when we, this whole thing started way back in March of 2020, the reason that we went into lockdown and shutdown is we wanted to prevent hospitalizations. We wanted to prevent people going into ICUs and we wanted to prevent 
people being intubated. And at the height of this, so we did that in March of on the 17th. On April 25th of 2020, we had 1,077 patients in ICU units. And that was an increase of 19 from the day before. We had 816 people being intubated that day. And that was 21 that were actually intubated just within the last 24 hours from the day before. Today, because of the vaccine and people have gotten the vaccine, we have 32 patients in ICU units across the state. We have 14 patients being intubated right now. We can't force people to get the vaccine, but the vaccine is gonna reduce hospitalizations and it's gonna reduce, reduce morbidity. And that's what it's all about. If you get the vaccine, there's still a chance that you can get the Delta variant, a very good chance. The Delta variant, I'm told, is 100 times mm -hmm. more contagious than the other variants that we have been dealing with that were 10 times more contagious than the flu. So this is 100 times more contagious, they're saying. But if you do have the vaccine, if you do have one of those three shots that are available anywhere, you are going to show that your, your illness is going to be much less severe. You will not end up in the hospital. You will not end up being intubated. You will not end up in the ICU. So, you know, I implore people, don't listen to me. I can give you the facts about what the shot can do to help you. If you're not vaccinated right now, there's a really, 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 really good chance that you're gonna get the Delta variant. That's how contagious it is. It's down in states right now where their vaccination rates are below 40%. Massachusetts is right around, I think like 60% or so. In Situate, we have 12,713 people vaccinated as of last Thursday, I believe, when the results come in. Wintertime, we have about 18,000 people, 19,000 residents down here. These are residents that are full-time residents that call Situate their home. We have a very good number of people vaccinated. It's that 18 to 45 age group that, and I'll be honest, if I was that age, now I'm, I'm so I get a little sick, big deal. Well, the Delta variant is a lot more powerful than the other variants that are out there. And we're seeing a lot more younger people actually going into the hospital. And it's 99% people unvaccinated. We are gonna be, we are in the beginning of a pandemic of the unvaccinated people. That's, that's where we are right now. So all I can say is please go out, talk to your healthcare provider, see if they think the shot is good for you. They're the ones who are your doctors. They're the ones who see all your records. They're the ones who are gonna be able to tell you whether or not they think it is good for you. So with that, I just also like to add that um, it is beach season. All of our beaches are open. We are doing our weekly testing. We did have to close down one of our beaches last week because of a high geomine. And Joan and I talk about this all the time. We're not big fans of the geomine because it's, you have to take five samples and it's not five samples every day. It's, you can take one sample a week and that week from five, that sample from five weeks ago is gonna count against you. The tide's been in and out couple hundred times by then. So we're not big fans of the geo mean for that, but it did the next day, it did come down. So and since then we haven't had to post any of the other beaches. It is a really bad, bad tick season. Make sure if you're out there walking your dogs with you or any pets, you check them when you get home, make sure you check yourself. When you get home, wear light colored socks, light colored shoes. If you're out there, that's where they're going to attach to you on your legs and you know, on your pants. So you want to make sure if you're wearing light colored clothing, you can see them. And we add Plymouth control, Plymouth mosquito control is still doing their weekly spraying. And if you would like your street to be sprayed, you can just call Plymouth County mosquito control and they will make sure that it gets sprayed. And with that,
I think that's all there is. All right. Um, so old business, um, and we had the wind turbine. So I'm not sure if anyone's on. Um, I'd like to open it up if anyone um, has any, would like to speak about any of the turbine complaints or any residents that would like to speak. And I don't know who caller, uh, the caller user one is, um, if he's on for the wind turbine or she's on, I'm not sure. Uh, Mr. White, the individual is not unmuting themselves, so I cannot tell you. Okay. So, I, I mean, I know we've had people in, we've had conversations, you know, going back over a month ago. Um, so I guess in my question, uh, Drew, where no one's, I mean, I have something that I, you know, we put together, I put together and um, I don't know if I should read it and then just do a um, board members can act and just make a motion. Well, to you know, I, 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 I think with something like this, we should wait until there is someone here. Okay. But I, I just don't think it's right not to. Right. That, that, now, um, I guess my question is, we were can they just aware? Continue, keep it keep it under old business, and I mean we don't have to vote or anything. It's old business. It's on the agenda. Am I correct in that, Joan? She's nodding. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's under okay. old business. Yeah. You don't have to make any motion tonight. Okay. So I'll I'll just leave this until someone comes on. Okay. From it. Um, I guess we'll just make sure that's on the next meeting and yeah. we'll we'll discuss and let anyone um, add on to it. And I do also have one. Oh, oh go ahead, because you haven't got to there yet. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then um, so we'll leave that on there. And then um, other businesses, invoice approvals. Yes, I have seven invoices for perk tests that need to be approved there between 210 and $280 each. So okay. I, I approve to have you second. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, anyone want to add anything or Joan or? Nope, all set. All right, so our next meeting, just to make sure, uh, today's 26th, be August 9th, is that right? Um, yes, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but I believe it's August 9th. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yes, it is August 9th. All right, and then uh, we'll put the under the old business, the wind turbine. Okay. All right, other than that, um, like to make a motion to close the Board of Health meeting for July 26. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There we go. Welcome aboard, Kelly. Pretty <laughs> easy, huh? You, you got it all down pat now? Sure. <laughs>